Hello there Aries and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you guys are doing good out there. So Aries, let's go ahead and find out what Oracle messages come out for you and what you need to know about your current situation, okay? Mm. There's something about you guys giving up what no longer even feels right for a lot of you Aries. Why am I getting a situation where a lot of you guys do feel a sense of... Um, you know, out your, well, what I would like to say is there's something about you guys sensing that there's something far better for you. Some of you guys, you may have been in a place where maybe things just didn't go as quickly as you wanted it to, or you were put in a position where, um, some of you guys, you really had to look at a situation or a person or a few people, um, in the regards of whether they were, um, you know, honest or true to you because um, there is a sense of this artificial heart that might be taking over right now Aries so there's something going on here when it comes to um, honesty when it comes to integrity and what is what we know is right for us so there's something that spirit is saying um, to seek more wisdom or information if you need to but there is a sacrifice that is worth making here especially when it comes to letting go of ideas or patterns or people or you know whatever it is that could be influencing you to cover something up when it comes to um you know your own unique self-expression what feels right for you what feels authentic to you okay so i am seeing some release here when it comes to you know no longer giving to situations where we feel a sense of falseness right and coming into situations where we feel empowered that we feel we're growing okay where we're excuse me where things were once dark we have enlightenment about it okay so i feel for some of you aries you really are um going to overcome wow that one just sticking to me you're really going to overcome something that um i feel for a lot of you aries is taking a tremendous amount uh, excuse me a tremendous amount of inner strength here okay but there is a sense of this awakening within you and realizing what really is true for you and what um and who and what is true for you okay so for some of you there may be a sense of having to like reclaim your individuality, your independence in order to come into something that is um, natural, not artificial. OK, yeah, look at this corals wisdom. There's something about things taking time. I really get something about you, Aries. Um, there's like a sense of this real wisdom um, that is accumulate accumulating within you because there's something about you guys, um, you know, growing with experience, growing wiser. OK, um, so works that are created, created over great periods of time. I really feel that this is a time to be, um, you know, more into. Uh, what feels right for you also taking time to really know how far you guys have come because I'm feeling oh, this one wants to come out too because I'm sensing a lot of you guys I'm seeing her turning her back away okay I'm getting like eight of cups energy plus the three of wands energy so there's something about you know this moving on and releasing what we've outgrown or what is you know we're or, or maybe for some what's you know um yeah well, for a lot of you guys, it's you outgrowing, but maybe there's a situation where there's a real release for others too, so that they can continue to learn and grow what they need to uh, learn and grow, you know, with or for. Uh, but I do see this thing about you guys, you know, having this inner wisdom and knowing how um, strong you are. And a lot of you guys, there's just this culmination of you um, gathering and seeking and growing some type of wisdom within yourself okay so there could be something going on here too where, where we're accessing past life memories um, ancient memories um, memories from our ancestors our guides letting us know that we are just as fragile and delicate and beautiful as a coral okay so I feel um, you know I feel for some of you guys she's got all this armor on and there is something about you guys um protecting you know 
what really is delicate and worth protecting here, okay? So there's something about releasing the things that we no longer want to be involved with, especially if we feel that there's a sense of artificialness, um, deception, or just something that doesn't feel right in our heart or our mind, okay? What's this one? Caution, secrecy, and wary. See, there's something about you guys paying attention to these things that are, you know, um, some of you guys, maybe there will be some secrets coming out, or for some, you need to keep some things to yourself. Because I do see this thing about quiet movement, um, really um, evolving oneself and strengthening oneself by self-reliance, self-discipline, um, and staying true in a situation, you know, staying true to yourself here. So I feel that there may be this thing about, you know, using discernment when it comes to things that, you know, either for some of you areas, I guess you, you can ask yourself, does this, will this help me um, realize something that's true for me? Or do I have to keep continuing um, playing something that doesn't feel right or something that feels false? Okay. Now, some of you guys... <laughs> Some of you, Aries, there's just been a realization that you left a situation or someone um, where there was just, you know, <clears throat> a situation where someone could not be real with themselves. They've, they've got things going on here, okay? And all they could do is a, a sense of masquerade or a sense of, for some of you guys, it's like someone didn't know themselves well enough or they lost their own identity or they didn't take the time to really figure things out. And so they place a lot of emphasis on another here, attaching, you know, even their own identity with another. So I feel a lot of you guys, there's a situation that's okay to let go of things that do not feel right in your heart, okay? Because you're lining up with things that can help you guys, um, you know, really maintain a sense of um, purity when it comes to your own wisdom and knowledge here. Um, and that's gonna support you and protect you, okay? Let's see, what else for Aries? This one just wanted to do something here. Oh my God. Yes, it did. Look, Aries, it's you. <laughs> the emperor, okay? Uh, being in your power, taking charge of a situation for some of you guys, right? Now, some of you guys, you're being led to a partnership um, that is very uh, strong, supportive. This really is someone who will protect and honor um, the most important things in their life and the people that are very important to them, okay, including you, Aries. But most importantly, <laughs> I'm seeing you guys being very strong. Um, and really, for some of you guys, it might be time to get organized and not get distracted here, okay? Because I do see a sense of you guys um, eradicating fears or eradicating things that are not necessary, not a priority in one's life. So some of you, Aries, I mean, here you are, the emperor, this is your card. This is all about you guys feeling empowered, okay? And feel and having the right to be powerful. There's something about you guys not backing down for what you guys know to be right and true for you. Okay, now if you've been in situations where you've had to overcome and really had to work through challenging situations where, um, you know, the connection just wasn't there or, you know, whatever it was that was challenging is really putting you in a place of um, a position of authority and having things actually be an advantage for you. Okay. So um, I feel a lot of you guys, there's just something about you pursuing and staying resilient right now because there's something about you not being knocked off on your throne or coming into your throne here, okay? Because you deserve it. And you also deserve a person here who is going to stand by your side and protect you as well for those Aries, um, you know that are dealing with um, something in regards of love or companionship. But most importantly, I'm seeing a lot of you Aries being strong and true to yourself and being in your power here, okay? And not settling for anything less than you really truly deserve. What else for Aries? I feel some of you Aries might be um, figuring out a whole new identity for yourself as well. There's like a sense of re reinventing oneself or trying on different things. Um, 
Yeah, I feel Aries, there's something about you guys just kind of doing what feels right to you, like your hair, your looks, um, you know, whatever that's meaningful. Maybe it's jewelry, tattoos, I don't know. Different things, different clothing, okay? So just honor that, be with it, okay? What else for Aries? My goodness, look at this. Aries, Spirit is saying, again, about, you know, uh, taking charge of a situation here, spirit messages. Okay. Spirit is uh, letting you and showing you guidance right now. Spirit is showing a lot of you areas where there might be limiting, uh, situations. Okay. Maybe it's our thoughts, maybe it's behavior, or maybe it's pe the people around us. Okay. Where we're not able to move and grow. I mean, what can grow in art in an artificial heart? Nothing, nothing good. So yeah, a lot of you, uh, Aries, you really do hear divine messages. You really do um, have a sense of really what's happening here, okay? And some of you, Aries, you just need to trust that spirit is guiding you, showing you the way out of a limiting situation, okay? This is why I see, I see a lot of you guys just, you know, being very um, protected here with that armor, okay? You've got what it takes. I'm getting like Knight of Swords energy actually coming through. So there is a big thing about change or swift changes. So air signs coming through. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What else for Aries? Okay, Aries. There's something about you guys trusting that some type of love situation is forming in your life. So put this in your situation, Aries. Um... Is there some, for some of you Aries, there really is this union coming together, a connection, a love, okay? Whatever is going on with you guys in your situation here, I told you there's something that's going to be worth the sacrifice, especially when it comes to authenticity, something very natural, something that is really meant for you, okay? Where we, we really do feel comfortable with ourselves and another, okay? So... You Aries out there, there's just something about you guys feeling supported and feeling a connection, okay? I mean, look at her hand is like right on his heart there. Awaken spirit. I told you I was getting the Knight of Swords. I was telling you guys about change here and look, desire to change. <laughs> there's something inside of you guys that you guys aren't going to be able to, not de to deny. There's this aching and yearning and longing for change. So something is absolutely awakening within you. This is why a lot of you, you know, maybe keep some things to yourself right now. You know, try on different looks or things that feel right for you because I see a lot of you guys attracting your tribe. Okay, but most importantly, you're awakening um, the spiritual part of you or there's this awakening within you that is being realized here. Okay, it's just becoming more profound and powerful. And like I said, Aries, you guys belong on the throne. Okay. What else for Aries? Look, Aries, six of wands landed right on the emperor too. There's something about you guys attracting the right um, people to you or the person to you too, Aries. You're not the soul. There, there's just this incredible recognition with one another here. But most importantly too, my God, I see a lot of you, Aries, you know, really stepping into your power. Um, for a lot of you, Aries, there's just a lot of uh, magic around you or influence. So enjoy the limelight because this is all about you guys really showing your talents and your gifts or you're coming into that, okay? Um, also, you know, for some of you Aries, if you're not resonating with like, you know, talents or gifts, which I hope you guys do, because hello, you're Aries. Um, there's something else going on here. <laughs> this is someone who has had victory over a long battle or a, you know, or who has conquered something here. And so there is much to be proud of, okay? So let it shine. And for a lot of you, Aries, there's really a powerful attraction happening when it comes to, um, you know, the right person or the right situation for you, especially when it comes to a union, okay, and commitment. 
I'm just seeing a lot of influence and power you guys are having right now or you're or you're going to come into it, okay? Some of you Aries, there there is something about a father here too that could that some of you Aries or a father figure, a masculine energy that could have been part of your life that you need to observe whether they you were brought up looking at limit, limiting beliefs and thoughts and then, you know, go deep with it. Ask why, okay? Um, so take that if it resonates. What else for Aries? Hmm. Three of Cups, Aries. Let's find out. Oh, man, it is. You guys are going to be happy. You guys are going to be happy once again. So there may be a sense of you guys having some sadness because there is a sense of having to leave or a sense of departure or just a sense of, you know, having to grieve a loss, right? but it's actually helping you guys come into a right situation. So I see a lot of you um, actually overcoming a time period where we've had to, you know, work through grief or sadness, sorrow, um, in order to uh, come into a situation where we can feel celebrated, we can feel supported, okay? There's um, something about uh, healing right here too. A lot of you guys are being shown the way or shown um, a situation that's going to uh, bring something to light here as well that's going to help you guys heal, okay? I want a little bit more with the Five of Cups for you, Aries. we got Water Sign coming through, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What else? I want a little bit more too with this Five of Cups for Aries. There's also a sense of reunion here too, actually, for some of you, Aries, okay? I'm definitely seeing something about a reunion here too. So how that plays out, you know, let's, let's let it play out. Either way, I just feel that you guys will feel um, a sense of, um, you know, things coming back together or things just looking bright and joyful after a period of, you know, sadness, loss. Yeah, I told you, you guys are in between worlds. Yes, see, this is what I'm saying. You guys are coming out of this period of sadness or grief. Now, for some of you guys, you know, you just have to know as you're making changes here, yes, there's going to be a sense of loss, but it's going to be worth it because you guys really are going into a new direction and the right direction. You're in between worlds here. Look, we're going from, you know, again, there's just like this feeling of you guys, look, we're sad, right? And we're hurt. Yes. But you know, every loss brings us a gain. And some of you Aries, it's like you, maybe you thought you were a seal and you're not here and here, you, here's the mermaids. Here's your people over here. Okay. So yes, it's sad, but it is bringing you into a brighter, beautiful situation. Okay. Where we can feel like we're flourishing. What else for Aries? Oh boy, Aries. Hello. Hello. Spirit's giving you guys, oh, Spirit is giving you guys messages. Pay attention to limitations here because we got, you, Aries, there's some, there's a love situation happening here. I don't know what's going on in your love life, whether it's passion, passionless, I don't know, is that right? Pa passionless or uh, we need to reignite or we don't got nothing going on in our love life because, you know, we're having to pursue something strong within our soul. But there is love. There's certainly love. I mean, new love is forming. And I kept getting this thing with Six of Wands, the Emperor. There's just this attraction happening here. The soul is going to recognize the soul. There's really a beautiful, harmonious, um, mutual attraction that's that you're aligning with here, Aries. So don't give up on the idea of love. Don't give up on true love either, Aries. There really is a soulmate situation for you. Okay. What else? You guys are going to feel like a winner with this um, love situation. Look, temperance. Oh, my goodness. I was really picking up this energy. Um, some of you actually may resonate with Sagittarius's reading, um, Aries. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. There's something that is going to be very smooth and harmonious. Just have a little patience. This is all happening in divine order and divine timing. There's nothing that you guys need to rush. Okay. Okay. It's already happening. This is this is all about you guys merging into this new reality. You're figuring things out. So since temperance is here, I'm seeing a lot of cups here too. So pay attention to, you know, um, balance, moderation, okay? 
Don't overdo things too much, right? Uh, maintain a sense of balance and patience. Patience, And you guys, it's like you really have mastered something in your reality or you're coming into that and you have to believe and trust that, okay? Something is happening in divine order. And I'm seeing when it comes to feeling at peace with one another, it's going to, um, for a lot of you guys, there, you know, there's this real thing about a win-win situation regardless, okay? We've got the time, we've got the energy, we're willing, okay? So there's something about you guys absolutely believing that new love is forming. The Two of Cups is new love. And look at this. we got this alchemist here forming, creating, you know, um, fire and water and, and making something new out of it. There's a real blessed situation when it comes to your love life, okay? What else for Aries? Some of you Aries may resonate with the last SOS reading, someone's oracle messages that was posted before this date, look at this, honor the masculine, and we even have this card of beauty. I don't really see, like, I see the empress and the emperor. I mean, we even have the emperor here, right? Honor the masculine. So there's something about respecting men, embracing the masculine, divine here, where I was getting something for some of you guys. There, there is something about a father figure, or maybe you guys dealt with someone who couldn't open themselves up, who couldn't be um, vulnerable because they too have been dealing with artificialness in their life and they've got to work through this. There is a situation where, um, where any of you guys have had a hard time honoring stability, protection, strength, especially from a masculine. You guys need to believe that there is a good man and however that good man fits in your life, whether you're a male or female. Okay. Now, if you're a male, there's, there's something about you guys really opening yourself up and honoring and embracing this new sense, this new profound sense of authenticity within you. Okay. Oh, this is just giving me goosebumps and chills actually, because I'm just seeing something where we're open, we're free. Okay. And there's high attraction. I mean, this card of six of wands is a card of high attraction. So um, there is something about you guys. Um, I feel some of the areas are changing your looks up where you're going to come into something really divine with yourself where you guys feel very, um, confident, um, beautiful. Okay. Um, and this is exactly what's happening. I'm seeing you guys not compromising or at least making compromises where we need to, right? Where they're, where they, uh, fit, not where they don't fit or make us feel like we're, you know, compromising something within ourself, our integrity. But anyhow, there's just something about you guys, um, you know, being this um, integrity uh, of form, excuse me, let me read this right. Integrity of form and spirit, okay? And that's exactly what's happening to a lot of you Aries. So, you know, you really need to be proud of yourself, celebrate yourself, honor yourself, do things that make you guys feel beautiful, Okay, because I was getting something. There was something about hair, <laughs> you know, maybe makeup. I don't know. Uh, you know, men out there. I don't know. Just do. There's something. Okay, just there's something. All right. What else for Aries? Yep, you guys are getting ready to activate something brand new. So some of you Aries, this is time to really clear out the past. Maybe it's simplifying. Maybe it's just like intention, energy. I don't know. Do things, smudging. I don't know what feels right for you guys. But Spirit is saying, create some kind of sacred space for yourself so that you guys can receive these divine energies that Spirit is gifting to you. If only you would take the time to create that sacred space to clear and activate. This is all about activation. Look at this. Act. Oh, well. Yeah, activation, love, but hello, activation. Because you guys are going to have something to be proud of, okay? What else? See, I'm serious. There's something powerful happening with you, Aries. Holy cow. 
Man, look at the Six of Wands and look at this wave of power, a surge of power, an upswing in energy, an exhilarating movement. See, we even had that thing about direction, new directions. I was getting the Knight of Swords, which is really telling me that you guys, there's like this real swift movement, okay, of change, um, an upswing in energy. So um, feel alive. You guys are gonna feel alive and there's this real thing about you guys feeling exhilarated by this movement, okay? Not feeling fearful. <laughs> That's gonna be the opposite. You're gonna feel exhilarated, all right? So enjoy the surge of power because I do see this, this real sense of confidence overcoming you where you guys are like, yes, I know this is right. Hmm? And don't underestimate your guys' own powers too. What else for um, Aries? I almost called you guys Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. I knew it. I knew it. I saw it earlier. I was getting the, um, it doesn't even matter, but yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Hangman here. Okay, Aries, stay. There's something that is like, I, there's something about you guys, um, staying resilient in a situation, okay? Don't allow yourself to settle for anything or to fall victim or to fall into the falsehood of, you know, limiting things here, okay? Because I feel a lot of you, Aries, there's um, something important and spirit does not want you guys to get interrupted by people or situations right now. So a lot of you guys, you're getting what you guys need to get. There's some type of fuel being like ignited within you. Um, so I feel for a lot of you Aries, um, for some of you guys, you just need to keep moving forward. Now, some of you guys are maybe a, a thing to give up the need to, um, be right about a situation and just uh, stay in a state of observation because there's something about you guys receiving wisdom, um, receiving information, um, especially when we've had, um, some hardships. Um, there's also something going on for some of you Aries with an apology, okay? So that could be on your path, um, but the most important thing that I'm getting right now is about you guys really feeling a sense of completion because here's the thing. You guys are almost done and you're almost there, right? We've got the Ten of Wands and Spirit is saying you guys are almost there, okay? So... Um, just trust that right now it's challenging because you are between worlds. Okay. Now, some of you Aries, there may be something here where we do have to fa sacrifice letting go of what's not working for us. Okay. And we even have the, the card sacrifice and you've got the hanged man here too. So this is really in alignment with one another here. Okay. There's something about letting go of uh, things that are a burden and, or for some of you guys, you might be just carrying a bunch of dead weight because it's just making you guys go slower than you need to, okay? So I just see this thing about you guys staying resilient and strong and powerful um, and being able to either finish what we need to finish, right? A sense of completion or for some of you guys, taking the load off right? So that we know what we need and what we don't need. Okay. Let's see what else for Aries. Yeah. Aries, some of you guys will end up blending families or have a family, or you'll just be feeling really good with the people and the surroundings that you guys are coming into. There is something about you guys feeling at home. I mean, look at this I'm just looking at the sea turtle here. There, there's this like journey's end here with that sea turtle making it home, feeling established, feeling very um, grateful because there's an abundance of love and affection. So there's just a sense of like working well with another and people and family with this 10 of cups, okay? There's gonna be more than enough. And Aries, I'm seeing something about you guys just having all of these cups up there. Like there's something about you guys really um, doing something that's outstanding or having achievements in your life um, and being able to share that with others, okay? So there is a sense of you guys, I kept getting this thing about, you know, did I, didn't I say something about your tribe? You know, finding your tribe or, you know, feeling very home. You know, you just feel at home with one another and it's safe. 
What else for Aries? Aries, expect a new outcome. Now, I do see some of you Aries do need a sacrifice being alone or separating yourselves from uh, people that could be very distracting to you because there's something about you guys feeling powerful, okay? And there's something right now that you guys have that can carry you forward, but you may not be able to see it, um, you know, unless you take a little st a step aside here. Uh, but look at this. We got the wave of power and a surge of power. The magician, this is a surge of power here, okay? Some of you guys do need to expect a new outcome. I want to get a little bit more with the magician for Aries. There's money on its way towards you too, Aries. Give us a little bit more of this with this magician for Aries. Ah, uh, I love it. Oh my God. It's so true. It's so true. <laughs> Aries, just go play. Just go play. You guys are going to manifest quicker that way. Get into the mode, into the mood of playfulness. Go out and have fun. Enjoy your life no matter what, right? Because it's not always about having to manifest or seek or make things happen. I mean, just enjoy life. It's just happening anyway. Some of you guys, you're going to be manifesting some travel dreams or, you know, whatever it is to make you guys feel playful. I'm seeing someone that topless. It's like, ah, oh, finally I'm free, right? Because maybe there was things like making you guys feel that you had to be trapped in a certain way or certain behavior. And all you really want to do is just take your clothes off and go have fun and jump in the water. Okay, so... Playing will make you guys feel so much better and it's going to help you guys manifest. And also, it's really going to help you guys stay very pure in your energy. Okay. So, what else for Aries? Oh. What's up with the Five of Wands? Oh, well, these two got left over here. <laughs> okay oh a gift is coming towards you Aries something is going to balance out for you I know there was something that you some of you guys you might be kind of really sick of what's being offered right now or you're just not even in the mood for it um hang on though I want a little bit more with the five of wands what do you want Aries to know about this five of wands <clears throat> yeah some of you Aries um Avoid conflicts or drama as much as possible, okay? Give me a little bit more with this Five of Wands because there's something about you guys, caution, wary, you know? Maybe there have been secrets in the past and you just need to stay away from it for right now and not worry about it. <clears throat> Give us a little bit more with the Five of Wands for Aries. Aries. There's a lot of hair going on here. So some of the Aries just have like gorgeous hair. I don't know. There's, or there's just long hair, hair, hair Aries. I don't know. Even if you're hairless, I don't know. There's something beautiful about you. It doesn't matter. But I'm just seeing like waves of hair all over the place. So there's just this thing about you guys being so beautiful and graceful in the way that you guys move and the way you guys just be yourself. Uh Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, mm, eh. Anyways, some of you guys you fight for your dreams because it is coming true. But, uh, but I am seeing this thing about you guys avoiding conflict or drama. Some of you guys, maybe for some of you Aries, okay, maybe some of you guys have to let go of the need of looking at what others have and what you don't have or comparing your life, okay, just saying because it's not going to help you. Um, it definitely won't help you. Um... Some of you Aries can, some of you Aries are going to have a lot of options when it comes to love. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it, but there might be a few suitors that really want to fight for your attention and um, you might be overwhelmed by that. Okay. So um, some of you guys just really stay clear of things that could really cause you guys um, a sense of feeling distracted or pulled off your path 
or you know going back to a sense of feeling artificial okay but most importantly I am seeing something about you guys um, you know really going after your dreams and winning okay winning at a dream here or dreams now there's this thing about you guys receiving a gift okay I know you've been disappointed Aries but there's something about you know you feeling a sense of reciprocity because we're feeling very stagnant right now so some of you Aries some of you Aries need to connect with the right energies or the right friends that you if you do have that right now that you know there's this beautiful exchange where you're not going to feel depleted then do that but some of you Aries you just need to know that there was a situation that you've outgrown or you've exhausted um, there wasn't any reciprocity for sure there was not a lot of you know there's like someone just kept taking and taking right for some of you guys but there is a gift there's a gift on its way to you Aries especially when you've been feeling very disappointed okay Aries some of you guys remember moderation okay so take it easy with yourself um because this is about you guys um believing and manifesting something new in your life okay there might be some disappointment for some of you guys when it came to money too i can see that and remember what i said earlier money is coming to you new money okay what else for aries mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. aries don't forget yourself mm. <clears throat> Remember the card that just said, bam, I'm here, that emperor card? Uh, uh -huh. Hello, forgetting oneself. Don't lose yourself, you guys. Don't get hung. Ooh, some of you guys need to be cautious. You know what I'm seeing? Some of you Aries, listen to me. There's some trap. <laughs> you want to see what I'm seeing here? Look at this. It's like, there's a trap here for some of you Aries that you need to really be careful of. There is a real situation of really wanting to control you, okay? Because um, when we've got you in that net, we can tell you what to do with that Ten of Wands, okay? You're easier to control. So look at this Nine of Wands. He's like just kind of flicking his, his wand. No, I don't think so. Don't even, don't even. You know, I'm just going to keep on moving, right? Keep on swimming, right? Keep on swimming, keep on moving, because do not lose yourself, do not forget yourself, okay? Some of you guys, right, you've forgotten something about yourself or there's something that's trying to wake up within you that's trying to be realized, okay? Maybe keep things to yourself right now, right? But this is about you guys feeling powerful and not forgetting yourself, okay? Okay, what else for Aries? Ah. Yeah, see, there's just more about dancing, playing, having fun. Maybe some of you guys just need to do that and, and, and ignore <laughs> people who try to cause conflict or drama in your life. Right? We got dancing. Something really is realizing and manifesting. There's something coming together here, Aries. Okay? So make room and time to dance because some of you guys, hello, you've been working or you're feeling really tired. Okay? Do things that energize you. Okay? Um, some of you, there is going to be a gift of you. Uh, there's something about you guys receiving something to relieve yourself of a lot of um, duties or obligations or just feeling stuck or blocked. Take time to dance and have fun. It's going to help you guys manifest your clear intentions into reality. What else? Oh, some of you guys are going to get a dancing partner here too. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Uh, how is spirit helping Aries? How is spirit helping Aries? You have a destiny, Aries. Okay. So don't forget that because you haven't been forgotten by god jesus the universe you haven't been forgotten so don't forget yourself 
How is spirit helping Aries? Coming alive. I knew it. I just knew it. Aries, spirit is helping you guys come out of a situation where, yes, you feel like something or someone is trying to trap you. Okay. We got the bride in a cage. Now, some of you guys put this in your situation because there's a commitment or something that we've got going on here where we're locked up in some type of role playing or some kind of, mm, you know, something artificial is going on here. Um, I can't help but see somebody trying to control some of you Aries and it's pissing me off actually. Um, cause yeah, cause I'm an Aries. So of course it's going to piss me off. Anyhow, um, Aries, there's something about you guys not being trapped either in condi conditions or even, oh my God, like traditional ways of thinking, be behaving. Like, you know, you got to be doing this at this age. You got to get married. You got to have this, you know, it's not working for you, Aries. So there's something about you guys, um, Aries, releasing yourself from um, something that maybe for some of you, Aries didn't even know was inauthentic or false, right? Falling away from your life or things that try to keep you uh, trapped, right? And not realizing how powerful and awesome you really are. Spirit is helping you guys break free. Okay, and not forgetting yourself because this is really important for you guys, okay, to not feel caged up in your own life or in your own soul. I want to get one more for how spirit's helping you, Aries. Oh, trust me, Aries, secret shaman can get pissed off. <laughs> yes, yes. And I honor that as sacred as well. <laughs> Anyhow, spirits helping you guys activate the light codes within you. This is what's going to help you guys have the confidence and the information that you need. And also some of you guys traveling, right? Travel awaits you because I do see you guys doing something out and about. Okay. And connecting with someone here too. Oh, it's so beautiful. Anyhow. Spirit is helping you guys activate light codes within you that is accessing the wisdom that's always been inside of you, okay? But some of you guys, you need to um, take care of that. You need to honor that. It is not, for some of you guys, maybe some of you guys feel like you have a gift that is, what's that saying that some people say, a curse? A gift is a curse or something? No, that's, that's just people who want to limit themselves in thinking that, okay? Your curse is a ble- or I shouldn't say your curse is a blessing or your gift is a blessing. That's what I meant. And maybe that's what you guys need to hear, right? <laughs> what you guys thought was a curse is actually a blessing. Ah, what you guys thought was a curse is a blessing. Anyhow, Spirit's helping you guys get the information and, um, the activation that you guys need. And that's exactly why spirit says, please, um, Aries, take a little bit of time out so that we can clear and, and give you new activation, new energies, new love, something new. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. Aries, love and light. Take care.